I still think that painting is creepy. Is this just two ladies standing at a bath? I think it is. Let's see, can we open this stuff? Okay, so we do have space to hang things. Christ. So, Fears to Fathom is an indie game. And if you have any feedback for the story or anything else, remember you can share it to fears to fathom stories at gmail.com. Uh, they got a Discord if you want to go talk to them about their games and stuff there. Alright, so, outside of the fact that I know we're on a road trip, I don't really know anything about it. So, I don't know if it says Norwood Hitchhike, am I the hitchhiker, or someone else a hitchhiker, and we choose to pick them up, which, mind you, I do not support. Be careful out there. Shit's dangerous, people are crazy. But, we'll find out who we are, and then maybe I go on a hitchhike, or we pick somebody up. We'll find out. Oh, here we go. We get, oh, that's right. They give us the pre-story. I forgot all about that. Because here's all the games that I have currently. Um, let's see. An episodic horror, Fears to Fathom. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated, or narrated by the ones who survived it. You are playing episode two. More episodes are coming soon. Estimated playtime is 40 minutes. Okay, so about an, it'll probably take us about an hour, hour and a half with the way we talk during stream. So that's cool. Let's see, we are going to play Norwood Hitchhike. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. Of what year, though? This happened to me when I was 19. Oh, it improved. Oh, good. I can push buttons now. God, that first one didn't let me do that. I had to kind of keep up with it. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. What up, Cozy? Thank you for the sub. How you doing, friend? How's your night going? I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if just a little bit. I was, or I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. That's nice, like it's positive. That's a nice thing to happen when you go out on a trip. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Ooh, that's a long drive. That's a very long drive. I've done that once or twice. I think my longest drive is like 16 hours and I, I felt blurry eyed in the last three. Like, I don't know how truck drivers do it. Oh, I'm driving. I'm actually driving. Okay. Oh, I can swerve. I can swerve. Space to get out? Do I want to get out? No, I'm gonna drive. Let's go for a drive. This is speed limit. 40. Oh, we gotta text. No, 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 no. Don't text and drive. Stop. Pull over. Pull over. Don't text and drive. Alright, we got two messages here. We got one from Dad and one from Aiden Williams. Let's go with Dad first. Can I go up? I can't go up. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Dad says, you called? I said, yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for, like, five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, said Dad. There's not going, or you're not going on a ten-hour drive by yourself. Well, I already made up my mind. He says, I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? As he screams back at his father for no reason. Um, let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Is it meant to be Holly? Oh, someone passed me. Someone passed me on the road. That's creepy. Um, am I Holly? I guess I'm Holly. I said, don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. You got Aiden Williams. Is this a phone call? No, it's a missed call. Uh, anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Okay, so I guess I'm Holly. It must be Holly. And what about Aiden? Discord. We got ticks. So... Uh, that's from Aiden. I say, I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know, finally going to uh, take Milo on a walk. 
Um, says, all right, okay, the plan is on. Hell yes, says Aiden. Uh, wait, you're getting the car? He said, yep. Or Holly says, yep. Big girl. Okay, so I am I am Holly, then. So, you sure Ash can't come? Aiden says, I'll get the skateboard, too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord. I wonder, I wonder what the Discord thing is. Oh, it's, it gave me an achievement for reading chats. Nice. Um, where are you? Almost there, says Aiden. I don't see you. Peach shirt, they say. Uh, it was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Holly seems happy. Again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I, says Holly. Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. I guess my house is my cave, kind of. Okay, Dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the ca or the country. Well, that sucks, says Aiden. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rebooting here. You gotta do what you gotta do, says Aiden. And that's where we left off with them. Let's see. I think that was a leaf. I'm concerned that wasn't a leaf. We'll get back out on the road. Can I change the radio station? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. If you say so. I should probably stay on our side of the road because I'm very sure that at one point a car passed us. What's that? Oop. Gonna hit fucking speed limit signs out here. Oh, got another text from Dad. I don't want to text and drive, damn it. <laughs> Dad, leave me alone. I said I would text you when we got back. Oh, we're running out of gas. Oh, that's not good. Out here? Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. Is there going to be a gas station up here? Dad, I said I'd text you later. Chill. Oh, sharp turn. Sharp turn. Sharp. Dad. <laughs> Fuck off, Dad. Alright. If he wants to talk, we'll talk to him. Just hoping we find, like, a gas station. Oh, oh. Random dude in the woods. Oh, there is a gas station. Awesome. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Pull up right up here. Okay, Dad. What'd you want? Let's see. Where did you reach? Holly says, still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Dad says, told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. So we got gas? Like, is there actual gas we can get here? Okay, can't access that directly. Norwood Gas Station Automotive Fuel. Okay, so... Is it open? Okay, there are people in here. Good. We're not alone. Like, there are people out here with us. Let's see, you got snacks? Select an item. Ooh, okay. What do we got? Meat snack. Meat, meat, meat. Milk chocolate? Nuts chocolate. Mom, what? <laughs> Holly, mom. Oh, I like that response. That's very organic. That's very real. Let's see. Can I can I select I'm gonna select one. Oh, I can actually buy shit. No kidding. Okay, so we can buy a cola, a chocolate new, soda, meat snack, nuts chocolate, refreshing soda, bubbles drink can, carrot drink. Orange drink. I kind of want a carrot drink. Consume. That was tasty. Okay. We got a snack. This is alcohol. I'm assuming Holly might be a little young. Probably can't buy alcohol. Okay. Hello, friend. Ma'am? I'm a ma'am now. Um, hi, can I get $10 a pump too? You just gonna stare at me there, bud? Say, you're... You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. 
Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I understand the job might be boring a little bit, but like, who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> a century? I mean, this gas station's been here for a hundred years now, more alive. Been around for a while. They're telling people all about this thing for a hundred years. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. That, that's not what I asked, sir. Can I use your shitter? I'm going to contribute. <laughs> Hello, random person. Oh. Hi. Let's see. I'm not going to go straight into the monster thing. I feel like that's a weird way to start a story. Like, hey, have you heard of the Norwood Valley monster? But, ma'am, I'm just trying to buy some vegan milk over here. Um, let's see. How's your night going? He just looked at me. It's very, see, that's the appropriate response. Thank you for recognizing I'm being a creep. Thank you. I'm just moving on now. All right, so we got our gas. Oh, and one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to or trying to get a ride, do not stop. I agree 100%. That's a lady in white. That is that is a very old myth. Do not stop your car. If you're out late at night and you see a woman crying in a white or a blue dress on the side of the road, that's a lady in white. You do not stop. You keep going. Uh, just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker those people are out there on the road putting their thumbs out they ain't what you think man they just ain't okay I feel like he's looking out for us now like I feel like he's actually like here for us creepy guy walking to a van what a mom bye creepy van hope you find your dad Okay, so do we have our gas? We do not have our gas. Like, do I actually have to pump our gas? And which one's pump two? Um, are there actual signs for, like, pump one, pump two? There is. Okay, so we have to back up the car. Okay, so now that I've pushed forward, now I can push the car. Got it. All right, so back it up. Straighten out. And that's probably good. Time to pump the gas. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Interesting way of saying that. Off to road again. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Okay, so we have to buy something for Milo. I didn't see that mom asked anything. Maybe that's in the text. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Oh, so Milo's the dog. Okay, so I'm Holly, dog is Milo, mom, dad, and uh, Aiden. I'd say, couldn't you get something from Milo? I'll pay you back. Okay, so we gotta get something for the pup. Dog will probably love a bottle. Bottle's probably fine. Let's see. We need to get something for the dog. What, what do we think... What do we think my dog would like? I don't think my dog wants antifreeze. Don't do that to dogs. Chips. Sweet cookies. Is there like a dough? Excuse me, sir. Yeet. <laughs> Alright, well, I threw something at him. Uh, did not seem to face him in the slightest. Let's see. You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster? You know anything? Big mistake. Why did he tell me big mistake? That's weird. Not chocolate? Peanut butter would be a good option. You're right. Peanut butter would be a fantastic option. Do we... Do we have peanut butter snacks? Is there anything on the peanut butter... Oh, no. Here we go. We have dog food. There we go. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to buy this dog food. <laughs> Okay, so he's not going to let me have that. Fine, let's talk to you this way. That'd be $5, man. It's nice to consider that he's not being rude to me after I threw a whole bag of dog food at him. 
All right, so we now have food. It is the new for good boys and girls, the Pat Pat brand. And it's got a very happy looking pug on there. Put this in the car. I feel like we left the car unattended. We need to check the back seat. Anybody in the back seat? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I could just put that on the trunk. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's put this in the trunk. Oh, the fucking trunk is full. I, I want to put it in the trunk, but where do I put it in the trunk? Just throw it in the trunk? Yeet. Yeah, because that works. <laughs> All right. On our way. Gas is full. We're good there. My purse and everything are over there. I think we're good. I think we're okay to move on. Okay, so the road is over here. We will be a semi-bad driver and just stick to the entire road, and I will do my best to dodge. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. This is true. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. I 100% agree to that. What the fuck was that? Mom's texting again. God damn it, Mom. I am driving. Call me. Call me directly. I say, it's not expired or anything, right? Oh, no, wait, wait, where'd my lights go? Oh, shit, where'd my lights go? Where, wait, where are my lights? <laughs> Hold on a minute. There are my lights. Okay. That button? Not that button. I think my lights just randomly went bad. I do agree, though. Like, people are scarier than any monster you can come up with. Okay, it is just our lights fucking her. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Wait, no, no, no. Our lights are going bad. I'm sorry, person ahead of me. I'm not trying to, like, flash my lights at you. Nor am I trying to crash into you. Oh, are you going to stop on the bridge? Ow. I wasn't the best at driving, apparently. <laughs> my lights are going out. Like, we need our lights back on. Where are we going? Oh, there are my lights. Thank you, game. Thank you. What I really want to know is, like, why was somebody just chilling on the side of the road, like, halfway down the block from the gas station? And then they, like, take off like a bat out of hell. Like, what was that about? Up. Oh kind of getting off-roady. Here's the bridge. Oh, it's a long bridge. It's like one of those ones that covers like a river or something. Like a big river, not like a not like a, hey, here's this tiny little like flow of a river. Like this is one that might like cross over into another state kind of river. Are we good? Seems like everything's okay out here. I really, really am kind of questioning what's happening to the quality of the road, though. Like, I I genuinely... What was that? It's just the lighting on some plants? I genuinely question what the... Oh, God damn it. What the fuck is going on out here? Like, I feel like this is some danger territory for real. Maybe the gas station attendant was, like, on to something. Oh, we got another bridge? I think we got another bridge. Don't turn left. No problem. No plans to. This is a very weird thing about that night. Oh, shit. Thought I could drive past the logs, but those things wouldn't budge. Guess we gotta get out and look. Yep, nothing suspicious about this. Nothing like a barbed wire fence right next to a down set of trees that look like they've been cut down. We can go around it, though. Can I? No, I guess I can't. And I'm guessing Holly isn't strong enough to lift these up. Oh. Oh, we can move them. We can move them. Damn, Holly. Fuck him. Yank that shit right off the road. Hello? Hello? Mr. Rabbit? 
We have made terrible decisions coming down this road. Oh no. Do not seem to be... Yeah, we do not seem to have the car work, and the car wouldn't start back up. Okay, now this is open. That's good. Game. <laughs> Let me work on the car. I want to fix our car. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. None at all? Okay, that's great. I'm not staying at... I should... Oh, I missed it. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Is there someone coming? I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Okay, so I guess we're the hitchhiker. 10.23 p.m. I saw a car nearing. From which direction? Oh, hello, 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 help me, help me, help me. Where are you going? I am literally in the middle of nowhere. Pure evil. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's pure evil. They're looking out for themselves. Well, I didn't understand how somebody could leave another person out here, I think that said. Alright, so it's now 10. 10.43 p.m. So not terribly longer. Someone else coming? Oh, here comes one. Hey, hey, stop the car, stop the car, stop the car, stop the car, stop the car. Please stop the car. Come on. Ah, oh, you got a truck. Oh, you stopped. Good. Good, 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 good. Come here. I can ride in the back of that. That's fine. Hello? You're the girl from the gas station. Oh, it's the guy. It's the weirdo. Um, I guess he's not a weirdo. I guess I was more of the weirdo. Um, I did throw things at him. And he wouldn't talk to me unless I talked about the monster. But then he told me big mistake and kind of ran away from me. So who knows what that means. Maybe he is a weirdo. Oh, thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. I think I can get a... Or you think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road or just to the nearest stop where I can call for help? Let's go just for the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. 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 So he's gonna let me. He's gonna let me throw all my stuff in the car. Good on him. I like this dude. This dude is cute. Like, very cool of him. Okay. So dog stuff. Uh, we can carry two things at a time. Good. 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 Whoop, there's that. Two more things. Oh, I'm hearing something weird out there. Fuck the skateboard. Get in there. Get, get in there. Alright, fuck it. We'll get the skateboard. We'll get the skateboard. I don't know what that sound is, but we'll get the skateboard. Yep, yep, yep. Skateboard's in hand. Skateboard's in hand. We're good. Toss. Toss. There we go. Okay, we get to leave that open. Let's get in the car. Oh, wait. No. Do we have to go to his side? You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Um, can you help me get my stuff? I mean, I thought I got all my stuff. It's not safe to get out here. Okay, but I, I got it. It's it's all in the car. Like, what's what's left? Is it just the like the purse and everything? Is there something else in here? Oh, here we go. We got a hat. Are you kidding me? I was waiting for a hat. Fuck that hat. Leave that hat behind. Fuck that hat. <laughs> uh, do I still have to walk up to him here? I'd say, I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. Is he going to take off on me?
Thank you so much, kind sir. Please don't be a psychopath. He's cool unless he fucked up our car, so this would happen. I mean, he did say big mistake. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Um... I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. You're really lucky I had to, er, had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I mean, it's an old car. That's it? I think so. I feel like I'm still hearing like people talking around here. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that every or tells that to every person traveling down here. Oh, so I can start conversation with him now. Got it. There's a town? No, please don't be a town. <laughs> Sir, are you confessing to car tampering? I don't think he's confessing, but I think he's like looking out. For, maybe he came this way on purpose. Like maybe he's the woodsman from like Snow White or whatever. Like or uh, Little Red Riding Hood or whatever. Like he's coming to like save us. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Oh, is it like a hills have eyes, or like a wrong turn kind of thing, where there's a crazy cannibal village or something? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. I literally threw food at him. Before I even said hello. He should be he should be really rude with me. He should be a dick to me. It's nice of him to like kinda of apologize though. I should apologize. We didn't hit the bunny. What's not to like? I don't know that I didn't hit the bunny. I saw the bunny. Can't guarantee I didn't hit it. Twelve oh eight AM. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a hotel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Awesome. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Did you leave me with my stuff? Is this my stuff? Yeah, it's my stuff. There's my, there's my good bag of Pat Pat right there. Okay, so it says there's a vacancy not approved for occupancy. What? Before any per- what, what? Are you the same dude? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Are you the same guy at the gas station? The roadway in? Gal need a room to shack up for the night? I don't know why I felt the need to say that that way. It just, it came out that way. I apologize if it was offensive. Definitely feels like that vibe though. Let's say how much for a room? 40 for a single. Pay cash only? Okay, so we have 40 bucks. I didn't spend all my money on Coke and uh, chocolate. Room number nine, right over there. $90. Tommy will take care of it next more or next thing in the morning. Okay, so we're gonna pay 90 bucks for the tow and potentially the fix. I'd say good. I'll tell Tommy, or I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They may not take it very nicely to it. Okay, sure, sure. Fine. Yeah, I won't I won't wake anybody. Please stop eyeballing me. I'll close your door. We're polite, we close doors. Okay, so can I pick any of this up? Not yet. So let's go find room number nine. That's one. So room nine is probably directly across the way then. Oh, there's our text. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're getting the family checking in on us. 
Um, some stuff is still not delivered, though. So, we had told Dad that we had to reroute. He said, where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? Where did you re- What do you mean, reroute? We tried to say, Dad, I may have to stay in a motel tonight. Mom responded with... We had told them, surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station, and you don't need to pay me for it. Um, Mom responded with Holly, with a question mark. And then Aiden Williams said, hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Okay, so everybody's trying to reach out to us. It was nice and warm inside. The fucking room has no mattress, guys. It, there's there's no mattress. <laughs> what? And that, that's a creepy painting. What, what are we doing here? Okay, we're going to close this door. We're going to close the door. Stare at this fucking mattressless bed. And know that that's where I'm sleeping tonight or not sleeping tonight. I confess I adore rustic old motels like this if they are clean and ran by non-psychos. I would have a problem with that, Raven, because I would not want to run the risk of the bed bugs. Like, once you get those goddamn things, you cannot get rid of them. So, like, I would, I would have a hard time, like, not being paranoid about the bed bugs. Or toxic black mold. Well, I mean, one night around it won't kill you, probably, but, like, working at one, for sure, will definitely kill you. I still think that painting is creepy. What is this one? Is this just two ladies standing at a bath? I think it is. Can we open anything? We can't turn out the lights. Let's see, can we open this stuff? Okay, so we do have space to hang things. Christ. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Nope, that startled me. I'm out. Peace. Night. We're going. We're going. Yep, not even... I gotta pee. <laughs> we're gonna go over here now. We're gonna grab our bag and we're out. Fuck off. There's a man in my room. Excuse me. Excuse me. Kick that door. Sir. Sir. You have a great night's sleep? No. No. God damn it. Okay. God, uh, we gotta sort the... Yeah, fuck your door. I'm gonna leave that door open. <laughs> Give me the skateboard. I need a weapon. I need a weapon, goddammit. Alright. We gotta we gotta go back in our room, I guess. Can I go in the neighbor's room? Can't go in the neighbor. Oh, goddammit. Why? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. You really did, actually. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here at Roadway Inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. What? were you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. Heh heh heh. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go get my stuff. At least we're not just leaving it out here. Like, we're gonna do something with it. Okay. Got some of it. Do we have to take it inside, though, or no? <laughs> Let's see if I can take these. Can you come with me? No, I can't use those. Okay. So we're going to have to make three trips in total because there's not a lot that is stackable, I guess is the right word. Okay, so yeah. There's two. We'll go back for the third. Let's see. Here's round two. Y'all. Pick these up. Okay, we good? Can you get the fuck out of my room now? Had a word with Joe about the situation. How the fuck did he have a word with Joe? Is there a phone in this room? Because Joe didn't do shit. He was staying at that desk, and I did not see this man pass me. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. What'd I just say? Uh, if need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. Get the f you have wide berth, sir. Please back the fuck up. Get out of my room. Let's see. Can I can I organize this in a semi good fashion here? Like can we there we go. Let's get let's get a few things in respected places here. Shit. 
There we go. There we go. Skateboard. Oh, they made. Th wait, wait. They didn't make the bed. They actually put the bed in here. Well, it's good to know somebody did, I guess. Come here. Guess that's not going to work. So if that's not going to go in there, we'll just toss that in here for the moment. Hack can go on the bed. And the dog food. Dog food can go in here with this stuff. That's fine there. Why was he in the bathroom? Like, is there like a... Okay, there's no mirror, so there's not like a two-way mirror in here. There's this thing, but it's probably a normal mirror. And I can see behind me at least, so that's good. Got soap. Soap. Nice towels. I mean, this is a fucking gorgeous bathtub for this place. Look at the fucking height on this thing. That thing is huge. Pros. We now have a mattress to ignore in favor of sleeping in the cozy closet. True. Very true. Dog food's a pillow. I mean, it could be. Could be. For now, I'm going to rely on their pillows, but we'll see. I'm keeping this thing close to me tonight. Let's see. Anyone outside? Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Can we just sleep? Water? Oh. Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Was, was that just somebody fucking staring at me? Or was that like... A dude taking a leak against the window there. Wait, what? That wasn't my door. Someone went into a door. Hold on a tick. Here, let me be creepy to you. Oh, he's got nice curtains. What the fuck? Why don't I have nice curtains? Hey, this paralysis demon do not... I mean, we don't have a paralysis demon yet, but we did hear a door open. Okay. All right, fine. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get back in bed. Can we lock this? Can we look out the people? No. Can we at least turn out lights? Hello? I saw somebody, goddammit. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Where do I get coffee from? Doesn't look like it. Can I get coffee at the front desk? Okay. Is there a coffee drink? Is there a whiskey drink? Is there a cider drink? Orange, milk, chocolate, candies, grapefruit. Well, fucking nachos? Mmm. Come on, coffee. Okay, what about this guy? I didn't want it. Do you have coffee? Your weird fucking tech dudes here can, like, freak me out plenty. Can I have some coffee? Okay. Oh, we got some cartoons. Is it Mighty Mouse? Oh, it's Superman. Fuck yeah. I love old Superman. I'm kind of surprised this is in the game, though, quite honestly. Anything coffee related in here? The Mechanical Monsters. Action Comics and Superman Magazine. Any coffee? Like, I feel like there should be a coffee maker somewhere in here. I'm gonna let that keep going. Maybe people will think I'm here. Let's see, is there anything that shows signs of like an eater? Ugh. See, bed bed mattress. We don't want that. This is why we do not stop at the motels. Oh, wait, wait. Coffee machine? Coffee machine. There we go. You can do an espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla is not available. I'm gonna do an espresso. Consume. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, my controls are weird. Wait, wait. What was in that coffee?
What is in that? Wait, what is? Oh God! What was in that coffee? Text message from Dad. Can't read it. Oh, we drank. We drank something we shouldn't have. What was in that coffee? Is it just expired? Was it the milk? It's crashing the bed. <laughs> Oyster, we drank something we shouldn't have. Three eighteen AM. I was sedated. Oh fuck. I thought the phone didn't work. All my shit's been moved. Hello? Okay. Where's my lights? Turn my lights on. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? That doesn't make any sense. I was sedated. 3.18 a.m. So there went the person. You could see him getting in there. Okay. So let's get up. Can we call people? Not really. We can interact with the phone, but we can't call people. Don't feel safe going out. Well, Bud, inside is not much better. These are near us now. Maybe if I... Like, throw them everywhere? Not really making tons in the way of noise. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm throwing shit. Who is it? Joe from the front desk, open the door. Hi, Joe. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone? Oh, see, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm like causing a disturbance now. Nice. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, I just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm just the crazy one here. I hate my job. Where is it now? Oh, so I gotta go show them the coffee machine. Oh, come in, come in, come in, come in. You gonna come in? Come in. Okay, we'll go show you the coffee machine. It's over here. So the question is, did that weirdo dude in the closet, like, remove the coffee machine? Oh, it got real dark here. It's fake coffee? It may be fake coffee. Oh, this is open. I don't like that that's open. Is the co The coffee machine is not here. God damn, Joe, any time today. You may be comfortable walking out here, I'm not. Let's see, go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back now. You gonna follow me, Joe? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Why it is Why is there medication in my room? Check the table by the TV. Is this... Do you just offer drugs? Let's see. That would explain how some unrelated to the motel tampered with it. You probably, yeah. Like if it was... Oh, look, I threw my uh, bag of shit outside. There you go. Chuck. Oh, it landed perfectly. Nice. 
Uh, did I just knock off whatever I was grabbing, though? Chuck. Here we go. So apparently we're going to take some drugs. See how this goes. Requires water. All right. Water. Can we get water from this tap? No. Get the water from this tap. No tell motel. No return motel is more like it. Nobody checks out from this place apparently. Okay. So, do I have to pick up the pills again? I do not. Do we go to sleep or do we just sit here? Can't call anybody. Maybe we throw stuff around a bit more? Excuse me? Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit. Don't feel safe going out. My ass, get over here. Make noise. <laughs> no demure. Make fucking noise. Like, break shit. Come on. Break shit. Let's say, who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Uh, do nothing. Oh, no. We know someone took a photo from in there, though. I know you're in there. Eh. Do we open the door? I feel like we should open the door. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away, or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come- nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, barricade the door, barricade the door. Oh shit, open, it. open the door, open the door. <laughs> how did he get outside? Like genuinely, how did he get outside? Why is he outside suddenly? Okay, we'll lay back down. Get back up. Doesn't feel safe to go outside. We did see something here. Some of my shit's outside. There's a guy walking past the door. Now he's at my door. Hello? Hello? Who is it? Please open the door, I need your help. What do you want? I need your help, please open the door. Do nothing. We're gonna go back here. I know you're in there. We'll see if this keeps me safe. I wouldn't bank money on it. Like, there's only two places I could really hide. Admire the uh, folded toilet paper. <laughs> closet. You wanna go to the closet? Okay, we'll go in the closet. He can't get me in here. Oh!
I don't know if he's coming in. <laughs> maybe you need to talk to him until he... Yeah, maybe, maybe. That's it. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Yep. Stack of waffle cakes. You gotta pour some syrup on it. Uh. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager or inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. The end. <laughs> Survivor is a weird fucking game, guys. It's a weird, weird fucking game. At least you're alive. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Um, you also blocked off the closet door with your suitcase. It's true, I did. We just jumped over it. Alright. <laughs> we survived. That's fine, I guess. A game by rail. Thank you, rail. Thank you. Okay, overall... <laughs> overall, I don't like this one as much as the first one. I like the first one much better. Um, I would give this one... 5 out of 10. Like, it, it's okay. It's an okay game. Um, I think my biggest annoyance of the whole thing is the bad save at the end. I think it should, when it brings up a new time, it should just save at the new time. I feel like that is a perfect point for checkpoints. Why I didn't do it with, like, the later evening hours, um, I don't know. But I feel like that's a missed opportunity. I think they just want you to get reimmersed in the, the whole story of, like, what's going on. But, like... I feel like that was probably my biggest hindrance that took it down like two or three points. Overall, it got a real scare out of me. Like I genuinely jumped there the first time we opened the bathroom door. I still like the games. I think the Fierce of the Fathom games are so far impressing me for such low budget, kind of like creepy little horror, like low graphics and stuff. I like it. I think it's cool.